Hello guys, this is Max from MHS Prod and today we will learn how to do some MoGraph with the plugin RealFlow for Cinema 4D. There is some RealFlow tutorials on the MHS Tuts channel. You can see uh, the videos and the content language in the upright. So if you're English, you must watch the English videos, which is often the same uh, of the French version. I apologize because there are more French content, but I try as much as possible to do some English version when I can. I'm not the only one who do tutorials on this channel, so um, that's why there are some exclusive uh, French content. You can see the software used in um, the up left. So we will uh, start now and try to create this shape. Uh, this is not a serious render, that's just for fun. And you, you will learn today how to use real flow with the sinking particle option. And with this option, uh, we will use some tracers, a measure, and add some clones. Uh, in the position of real flow particles. So we will start by creating a new scene. The focus today will just be on the possibilities of the thinking particle option and not in making a serious render. So when I have my scene, I will show the quick example with uh, loading a sphere and I will add um, real flow fill emitter. If you're new to real flow, I've made uh, this video first steps with real flow for Cinema 4D. So you must watch these videos to understand everything I'm doing if you're new to real flow for C4D because I will not explain everything I'm doing because this will take too much time and I'm working on a full uh, tutorial to explain everything but it's going to be in French and not free so if you want free content go on the channel and learn it so I will put my sphere in my body type and alt double click to see my particles I don't like all there they are in the space so I will add a 0.5 jittering to uh, make some random uh, position then I will disable to my icon because uh, it pissed me off I think that's a, a cool English word to, to say that uh, I'm angry about that uh, I try to improve my English for you I will add a quick daemon, a quick noise field with a value of uh, very very bad at, uh, at uh, numbers, it's 250 I guess and this will add randomness to the particles. Now we will convert all these particles in sinking particles. I will reduce the number because I have uh, too many particles so I'm going to I'm go to the fluid and put a res of 0.5 I will have less particles each particles will be uh, like a clone instance I'm go in the particle tab and click create sinking particles don't be disappointed because you don't have the crosses, the typical crosses of the sinking particles. Because if we watch in the simulate tab parameter uh, sinking pa particles parameter, you have in your global tab a fluid, which uh, is the um, position of each particles converted in sinking particles. Now I can use uh, matrix. I don't know uh, the word for uh, for um, the English version of C4D. 
and I will put the mod to object and just click and drag my fluid. Right now you can see that every point is uh, a matrix. Uh, this is not geometry, this is not uh, cubes, this is uh, coordinates information. So now I must add a cloner object and put this on the object mode and now add my matrix there and now if I add a geometry like this small cube I will give it a very small uh, aspect and put it in the cloner I just disable my matrix by alt double click there and now you see that every of my real flow particles are now uh, small cubes. To improve the speed I will click on uh, render instances and we can see that now everything is moving. So we can do very cool thing for example uh, because you can now have all the real flow uh, particle system to, to do uh, simulations or cool stuff and you have all the demons to modify uh, what you are going to do in MoGraph. So I can add a small real flow collider tag. Don't do that, that's, that's just for the example. And I can add a demon gravity and now all my particles will react and uh, you can do very very cool MoGraph with uh, all that. So that was just to show you the possibilities. I'm going back in real flow and put my uh, noise field with the 250 value. And uh, you can do uh, very uh, other, uh, other very cool stuff. Uh, for example, I can put a tracer, tracer object, and in my tracer object, I can just put my matrix. And if I go back and click play, I have these very cool shapes. Uh, you can create this kind of shapes uh, in X particles. But uh, there, uh, it's a very fun way to create uh, them in, uh, I'm saying a lot, uh, I should stop, uh, because it uh, pissed me off myself. So I should stop to say so too. This is uh, very bad to say everything every time so. So I'm trying not to do so and not to say so and I will put my tracer into uh, I don't know the sorry for you English guys but uh, in a controlled ex extrusion maybe and add a spline uh, and inside I think that's the right name and a uh, very small value for example of 0.2 and now if I add it now I have a uh, geometry if I can 0.4 to have bigger uh, bigger things and uh, it looks uh, very cool and all is animated uh, and the very cool thing is that I can add a mesh too to do some design. So for the example, I will disable my extrusions and my cloner. And I can just add a real flow mesher, mesher. For the tutorial, I will just stay in low with all the default values, maybe a bit more smoothing and click play and now this will um, create this uh, this fun shape I will wait uh, frame 45 for example or maybe stop it uh, at 30 and now I can click 
C if you are not going to do uh, animation but just a steel frame and I can go back just to to do uh, this and I'm going to wait the frame I will disable that and activate it later to just have more uh, calculate speed can wait a bit more now I can put it back there and uh, I created a very cool shape uh, and uh, that was not the, the content uh, Purpose today, but can do a cool image like that. And the, the, the idea was to see what you can do with real flow and the sinking particles option, and uh, that's really nice. And if I just take a quick uh, live viewer, you can see that uh, it will look uh, very fast, fast, fastly good. So and there I can just go there and I'm going to, to be very quick hein, sorry and add HDR environment just to, to watch a bit uh, the, the cool geometry uh, that's uh, not uh, so good H HDR for this example maybe uh, watch a bit there and we have this uh, this very nice uh, shape so you can now do renders animation or whatever you want uh, this is a crappy 2 hdr for this this is better and now we we see that uh, it looks uh, fun and uh, that's not to do this kind of thing but just to learn learn to you how to use uh, this kind of module so if you think about do some simulation or collision or stuff like that uh, try to reuse uh, all the thing i learned to you and then um, have fun with uh, real flow and the thinking particle option thank you for watching this short video you can go and subscribe to the channel if you're new you can go on our page Facebook Motion Designers Community which is mostly a French community but there are some English posters you can share uh, stories, renders uh, you have the rules right there uh, very shitty uh, image but it's going to be uh, updated soon you can join us on our Facebook page and uh, of course on our Instagram maybe uh, most of you are coming from this page because we have uh, more and more followers and you can join to uh, my page motion designers uh, this is a page where i post renders that i like uh, of all the people using md community hashtag so if you want to post images and uh, submit uh, them to me just post uh, on instagram with md community as a hashtag and i will uh, repost pictures uh, next time we will focus and create uh, this kind of cool shapes inside of uh, real flow i've made some uh, fun renders which uh, are on my instagram and maybe uh, do this kind of cool characters i've already made a tutorial about that uh, but i will do another tutorial to, to simplify the process and use uh, real flow as um, the global shape and maybe do a bit of z brush to uh, improve the quality thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe see you later guys